Hello everyone. So welcome to the YouTube channel RD Automation Learning. And today I would like to first of all thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. It has almost crossed 10 lakh views in 1.5 years itself. So thank you so much for all your support and showing love towards this channel. We would be, you know, creating more and more content for you for sure. And today we have come up with the software testing interview questions basically manual testing interview questions asked at Allmac company. So let me start this. Okay. So first of all, the very first question that was asked to one of my subscriber was guidelines and procedure rules standards that you follow. So in this question, basically you can tell them about the test management tool that you are using, defect management tool. What is the bug tracing process? How do you collaborate with the uh, business analyst, product owners, dev leads to make sure that the critical major defects are not uh, <clears throat> left unfixed or they are fixed at the topmost priority, right? And then you are also taking care of the test case reviewing with the senior members in the team or you can say the QA leads. So these things you can tell when you are getting this question like guidelines and procedure, what is the QA process that you follow in an organization? And then this, this is a very fundamental question that would be asked in any interview. Tell me about your project, brief about your team. So you can tell about the project domain. Is it an insurance-based domain pro product or it's a finance-based or it's an e-commerce? Then you can tell about the front end and back end technology, number of members in your team, how many of you are working in an automation team, how many of you are working in a manual testing team, then functional and non functional testing team members. Let's say if the user story also contains a non functional requirements like performance testing, security testing, then you can elaborate those points as include those points as well in your introduction. What would you do if the defect might not be fixed? So you would be discussing with the developer. You will be trying to reproduce the scenario in dev machine or in their dev local environment. If he or she is still not convinced, you will be uh, scheduling a small working session with business analyst, product owners, and include developers also over there. One of the developer who is working on the defect, then what is the scenario basically you're looking for? You will be discussing about whether it's a happy path scenario or it's a negative testing scenario. And still, if the team feels it should not be fixed, then you'll have to speak to documentation team to be taken care so that the customer or client is basically aware of it. But it generally happens very less time that uh, people generally don't fix defects. They generally take care of those defects. They fix them and then they release the product. What are the challenges uh, you have faced in the project? So you can tell lack of acceptance criteria. Basically, it depends on one-on-one uh, -on -one experience in your companies. But most of the projects, you know, you'll feel sometimes you don't have a proper consolidated FRD or BRD in your project, in your project in which you are testing. Or you might not get a proper acceptance criteria. Let's say if some business analyst was working on that particular user story, he or she has been moved to next project or he or she has left the organization. So those kind of gaps are seen generally in the projects. And another very important aspect over here is, let's say if the developer has uh, fixed a particular bug, but he or she is not aware about the impacted areas. So over there again, it would be, uh, a headache for the testers as well as the entire QA team. They won't be able to test the impacted areas and simultaneously it might give a rise to the defects. Okay, what is functional testing? Any innovative idea you contributed and was implemented? So as we all know, functional testing is the process through which QA determine if a piece of software is working as per their requirement flow or not. It uses black box testing techniques and it is only concerned with validating if a system works as intended. So it's a black box testing. Now, any innovative idea you contributed and was implemented. So you can share about the ideas or where you went extra mile in doing functional testing. 
So you can take an example of test data. Let's say you helped your QA team in implementing or testing with this particular set of test data to make sure that it has been taken care of from the developer's end. So these are the key things that you can add. Any innovative idea you contributed and was implemented. So yes, these are few of the ideas that you can give. Zero regression defect strategy. So basically you can tell about the defects and you made sure you work with the developer team and dev, dev leads to make sure that there are no zero, there are no regression defects whenever you are getting built or whenever they are deploying the builds. So team is taking care of those things. Smoke testing approach. Let's say before starting end-to-end -end testing on any build, you spend 10 to 15 minutes with few of the dedicated QA members and you do smoke testing with them. You allocate smoke testing to two or three members for uh, you know for making sure that the build state is very healthy. It should not happen that some particular button or some particular critical functionality itself is not working. So you are going for a smoke testing approach for that. Then unit testing proof attached by dev team. Let's say if the developer has moved the ticket to the QA. Now, before that, he, need, he or she needs to make sure that the unit testing proof has been added so that the very obvious scenarios are not working. These things won't happen at all. Then you might get question on SDLC phases and where does testing come over here? So there are six phases, requirement gathering and analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, maintenance. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. We would be sharing more and more videos with you on these lines. And if you are giving interviews in any of the MNC companies, please share, please do share the interview questions with us. It would help us to help the community in applying and getting the jobs in various MNC companies, right? Even if you are able to recall five to six questions, it is totally fine. You can share all these interview questions with us at rd automation learning at gmail.com and we also have a playlist in which we are taking care of all these things so let me take you to that playlist where you will get all these interview questions so here is a playlist in which we have included the top mnc company automation testing and manual testing interview questions so all these questions you can see over here and you will get a very fair idea about what sort of questions are asked how we, how will you prepare and how will you answer in an interview so that you get selected besides this we are also conducting mock interviews for the people so if you are interested to know how much you know in software testing or how much you are prepared for a real-time interview you can give a mock interview and make sure that you are up to the mark or not we'll give you feedback and this mock interviews are again absolutely for free free of course we are not charging anything so thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for more videos and please please do like share and subscribe all of our videos in your network thank you so much